Welcome to this episode of The Gunman. In this video, I'll be taking you through how to use the Anest Iwata LPH400 for use with clear coat. So we'll be using the LV4 air cap, which is the HVLP air cap. I'll be demonstrating this with Duke Zone 2K Clear, which is a MS clear coat. So this car here is a Toyota Orion, painted in Titan Silver Metallic, paint code 4N3. These are an Australian built car, which is uh, just a slightly different model to the Camry, same body shape and type. So we'll start off uh, running through the basic settings that I'm using on this gun here now. Uh, I've wound the fan right out and then I've come in two full turns on the fan knob, which is the top one. Uh, the knob itself has got uh, numbers on it and you can uh, count how many turns that you come in through those numbers. And next up, we'll go to the fluid settings, which is the next knob down. And we'll wind that right in instead of right out. So I'll wind that right in and then come out two and a half turns I used for this job. And I found that uh, that worked really nice. I did a couple of jobs leading up to this one and played around with the settings. And I found that to get this uh, orange peel consistent with the rest of the car, two and a half turns was really good. And um, the air pressure settings is get it right onto two bar, and then once you pull the trigger, that will come down to about just to come down about 0.1 of a bar, so about 1.9 bar, fully depressed trigger, and uh, that is uh, 29 psi. If you uh, Americans, so um, I know you guys don't measure in the metric system. So uh, next up, uh, that's our first coat. We'll give that a couple of minutes. So it's a really nice looking gun and um, yeah, it gets a really nice finish and you can adjust the settings to match many different orange peels. It's quite a light gun. It's uh, the lightest gun we actually have in our workshop because I put them all on the scales. So this is including the regulator and air fitting. It weighs uh, 704 grams, I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. 704 grams, whereas the um, Pro Light was about 760, which I was a little bit surprised about. And uh, the Bellaria, which is a brand new one, was only about 3 or 4 grams heavier. So that could have just been a, a bit of thinners in the chamber. So the gun itself is uh, the same shape as the classic W400s. Pretty good looking gun, nice chrome body on it. and. Uh, they've got a nice feel in the hand so just take note of the technique I'm using here a slight flick out on the edges I've also painted through those uh, door gaps I've found if you paint right up to that door gap and you can end up doubling over and you end up with a big thick build up of clear coat on those edges and just flicking sort of using your wrist to flick it out at, at those edges so we don't get that build up If you were looking at getting a, an SI water and uh, you wanted to do some jobs at home, the brand new gun was bought out in 2014. It's called a uh, Bellaria, and it's a really nice gun. I've got, I've just got one of them myself. So hang around and uh, hit that subscribe button, and you'll be able to uh, keep up to date with my latest work. This is the car um, when it's finished off. Obviously, off the gun finish there. I've uh, got a really nice fine orange peel on it, which is what I was going for. And I've also done a few of the European cars with it, and you can get that nice thick orange peel if you change the settings a little bit. So to uh, get a thicker orange peel, you would drop the pressure down just a touch, not too much, but also wind out the fluid so you're putting more fluid on there. So this is the car once it's done. And just here was just the, gun, the car as it rolled out of the booth, so this was it off the gun finish. And next up, I'll be taking you through clear coat on a separate car with the same gun. This is a Hyundai i20. Um, I can't actually tell you the 
paint code or the name of the colour for this one, I'm sorry, because it's a straight solid black and all I did, we just got some colour cards sitting there at work, which are the different blacks we have, and I just grabbed one of those colour cards and it was just a straight tinter black. So uh, in Standox, the number of the tinter was 571, which is just one of their straight blacks in base coat and then I'm using clear coat over the top. As for using this gun for uh, base coat, um, I, I'm yet to use it for base coat colour uh, because the guy that owns this gun, he's actually my apprentice and uh, he wanted to just use it for a clear coat gun and he didn't want. So this is actually the perfect uh, example of why you want to have a, a dedicated clear coat gun because this is a solid colour base coat um, so there's no metallic in it whatsoever. Sometimes what can happen if you um, if you use your colour guns for clear and if you haven't cleaned it out 100% then you can end up with uh, your clear coat getting little specks of metallic over colours like this coming through your gun. So um, yeah, as I was mentioning, this gun can be used for base coat. I've used it for some clear base coat. It is an all-rounder gun, so don't just think that because I'm only using this in this video for clear coat that it is uh, just a clear coat gun. It can spray any paint that you want to put through it. If you wanted to spray primer through it, as long as you thin it down uh, to a surfacer or a sealer type of a primer, you can spray it through there absolutely fine. So great for use in a workshop environment. They're um, quite a uh, cost, uh, cost efficient gun as well because they're um, around the $500 mark. So that's what he got this for. Uh, that, that's trade price and he was getting looked after by the um, by the paint supplier. So you might find uh, retail, it might go up a little bit, but shop around, you, you should be able to get them around the five to $600 mark. So good looking gun, got the nice chrome body on it. That's our first coat. I'm then just giving it five minutes in between coats and we'll put our second coat on. So if you hang around to the end, I've actually got a couple of uh, videos that you may not have seen and they're actually uh, video endings now. I, I've just got a new video editing program so you probably noticed the pretty cool transitions in between videos and the text layers are looking a bit better now. Uh, so hang around to the end, I'm able to put video uh, endings in. It's actually a good comparison. Uh, just to see how a couple of different spray guns spray. You can see them on the same screen at the same time. That actually gave me an idea. I might start doing some uh, comparison videos where you can see a couple of different uh, guns being used at the same time. You'll see how the different, uh, how I'll actually have to spray completely different to get similar results. So yeah, um, I'm always doing my best to work on my videos and make them better and your feedback is always welcomed. Don't be shy to hit that like button too. Comments and shares and check me out on Facebook too. So that's just about uh, bringing this job up to, a, to an end and this video up to an end. We're just going to do one coat of clear on the bumper bar. I left most of the first coat to clear out on the barber I decided to include the second one. The job came up quite nice but unfortunately this video, this car, sorry, I missed it on the way out so I don't have an ending for it. Most of the time I try to include endings and the cars when they're finished off and washed up. So I'll just give you a quick rehash over the settings on this gun. So it was uh, wind the fan fully out and then come back in two turns and with the fluid uh, for an average fine orange peel you want to wind that right in and then two and a half turns out and for the settings it was 29 psi or 2 bar and as you can see it's about a fist width away from the panel it really does have a nice big fan on it great gun I'd happily own one as soon as I uh, grabbed this gun, I found it quite easy to use. Um, a lot easier to set up than the Supernova. The Supernova does look great, and it can get some great finishes, but I just found it a lot harder to set up than this gun.
Job came up quite nice. Quite nice finish on it. Good orange peel consistent with the rest of the car. Not too much dust in it. Got a couple of pieces which is average. Hang around just for another minute here and check out those endings if you want. Thanks again for watching and this has been another Gun Man production. Goodbye.